compute technology, what was the price for company, you see that it's impossible how it is. It's nonsense. And of course, young people want to be rich. But that's the way, rich is not the target. But on the other hand, if you don't have a multiplication factor, you can have a long-term success because the investor will say, I, ha I produce four baby in, in the, in the in, vivo, in vitro system, only one for that survives, so I need the factor 10 to survive long term, what is correct. In the company, you have 40 times the kid is killed in the mother before he comes to the world. So normally industry develops four ideas to have one working. It's got a lot of money. And they don't consider this value at the same time. So it's also important to understand that in the beginning, a new unit is not making the best specialists working together. A new unit is really taking the best element to be flexible. The stem cell, they are not a heart cell, a brain cell, or skin cell. We don't know. They will do later the specialization. A startup in the beginning need to understand business, need to understand technology, need to understand everything to have the highest chance that the focus is coming strong enough and after you will specialize. Never specialize too early. You have to specialize better to work. I might ask me to present some example. You say, yeah, it's nice your theory, it's nice your metaphor, but can you not explain it to I do? Of course, what was my prehistory? What do we have to do from that time? I will show you a few examples how it's going. I will take three, I hope it's not too long for you. Woodwell, it's first I cannot present, so I forgot to explain this picture. We are messenger. We survive. We decide company cryolic that we don't produce, we don't we don't represent something. We simply develop new ID. We are this <laughs> producer of external DNA. We will never be a mother. You must understand that the father in this case don't give his name. He will never be recognized. The the industry or the service or the country we say it's our product. We give our name, not the inventor's name. We want to control the growth. We want to control the future. And the society decide, and not the creator. The creator produces the, the genesis of the system help to that he exists. And after he disappears. So if a creator started to produce, started to sell, he became a man. He has to protect his baby. He has to look that he's growing up. And the target of a society is the birth rate. How many babies are coming? In the creativity is how many new ideas I can have. And you need hundreds of new ideas to have one baby. And the focus of the industry, the focus of organization, is of birth rate. New company, new system that tomorrow, the day after tomorrow can exist. Because if we are not controlling that, what we are doing will disappear. What will make the next generation? This is a key question. Of course, we must be successful today. But we have to work on that. So we are working most on that part for our clients. 80% of our activity is for Tetra Pak, for Nestle, for Bosch, for Bosch, or for middle company, and also for staff. Only a few part, 10%, 15%, is for our own project. I can be transparent of our own project. I cannot speak about the project of my client, of course. It's always very confidential. And we can never work with competitors. We can never share things with two company in competition. So we are working in a lot of different fields. And uh, an example of a field we have opened for ourselves was how to weld wood. Why, from more than 5,000 years, we are working approximately in the same way with wood. Can we not wet wood? So everyone will pretend it is impossible. So the dream was really to change the way of processing, to can imagine a new way of doing it. So we proved that it was possible. Now we, we will be introduced next year on one of the larger companies producing uh, furniture to wet electric together. And that is functioning quite good. But during the development, we ask us, yeah, OK, we can weld wood. But wood and bone is exactly the same. If we can weld wood, we can weld bone. We were no wood specialists. We were not, 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 nothing 
very good medicine because every specialist will say to you, bone and wood is quite different. Yeah, well, it's quite different, but not so far away. So we developed a solution how to wear the bone. Here you can see a small video. It's a young kid. He came on the world with a scale with weapon. So the fontanelle was not present. This this soft part of the of the of the scale of the baby. <coughs> the cell had to grow because the brain grow. And if it's welded, the brain can grow. So it's terrible. A very around the three per mill of the kids came in the world with the scale with weapon. So here you have an example of operation, what they are doing. They take the skin out, they take they break they separate scale for the rest of the head. They cut it in small pieces and they assemble this puzzle, making gaps. You can see a gap with producing artificial. Now you can see how it's function the system. So first we make a polymer element, it's a polylactic resolve for the human body in the shape of the, of the skin. After we drill a small hole in the corticalis, and in this hole we insert a pin of polymer, a polylactic, which is resolved by the body, and we use ultrasonic energy for that. So it's a T's ultrasonic element we was transforming. And now we apply energy and this will melt and the melt goes like a three tree, making fixation through fractal element directly in the bone, immediate stability, no mechanical tension, no rotation because it's well with the plate. We can save around three hours operation for kids for uh, they are 12 months normally when they are operated. We have made through this technology more than uh, 25,000 operations. 25,000 kids was operated and close of 1 million of these people was placed in the brain of kids without one problem. And the guy who gave the license for this technology, they was number 10 in US market in this kind of operation. They are today number one. They are less than 5% of the market, they are today 60% of the market. And that saves a lot of things for the surgeon, because it's much more fun, it's much easier. They save three hour, hour operation, and they have much more success at the end. Only to show how crazy I am. How can I well wood ended to how can I well go? And we was not knowing that in the beginning. It's always this game with concept and know-how and the research of other things who bring us to that. Smixing. This element here. So smixing is for totally different questions. So smixing means smart mixing inside. And smart mixing inside, the idea was we have a problem in our society. We will have more and more exchange. Every day we are in contact with a lot of things we have a very high risk of cross-contamination. We have a high risk for transmission of, of illness. We have a high risk of new kind of illness coming through the fact that the microorganisms have more and more resistance to our chemistry. We have to rediscover something what my grandmother was saying to me every day, please wash your hand before you come to eat and wash your hand, please. Today, nobody washed their hand. They go in McDonald's, KFC, or they eat something, and nobody wants that. Why? Because it's not really nice to go to the toilets. It's not really nice to go to that place. Because water is, a, is an energy for a building. Building hate water. We have water column in the toilets, water column in the kitchen, that's it. It's too complex. So how can we bring the hygiene to the human, and not the human to the hygiene? For that, we have to reduce the water consumption. How to make it flexible? So we decide to reduce water consumption. So with that, we can reduce the, 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 the volume of water, we can reduce the, the salt, we can reduce the drying, we can simplify it, and we can reduce the maintenance. So we can reduce cost, and we can be more efficient. Uh, what, how can you improve that? So to improve that, we have really to save resources, and we have to make the hand washes more convenient. The idea is very simple. What we saw today, if you are washing your hand, you wet your hand, you add soap, and this soap glued your hand, and you put a lot of water to dissolve not the dust, dissolve the soap, the, the soap. And the soap don't wash. 
it's only the mixture of salt and water who produce um, uh, can isolate the fat and bring tension reduction and make possible to eliminate the dust. So it's not a washing element. It's soapy water. So we try to make it, and after we need much less water to rinse because not a lot of soap gluing or be fixed on your hand. Of course, the drying is simply a system you have to dry. And the system, all the base, is made in this technology. So what we did, it's a small system like that. It's a cap. This is the heart of the system. It's a plastic cap can be produced for less than half a, a, half a dollar. So it's a replacement cap. And you have a pump, a separation, entrance of air. So that is all what these pictures say. We, we, we mix all, we mix a precise dose volume of salt with a precise dose of volume of water. And we add an air inside, so we have an excellent mixing. And so you reduce the need of water by, by rinsing. The idea is to have different applications. For example, the right one has a reservoir underneath, so you can move it. In the middle is a wall fixed element, it can be fixed directly to a water inlet and outlet. And the last of the tables is exactly this one. In the end, uh, I go, uh, that is less important. What's important with what we charge, we target 3,000 hand washing. So we are going to send shops to open. And the, important element is in free the hand hygiene to have a touch-free system, an uh, easy system and a controlled process and increase the efficiency by saving 90% of the water. It seems we don't use a lot of water by hand washing. Imagine Zurich Airport use uh, around 20 million passengers per year. Every passenger goes to the toilets before they go to the airplane. They hate to go in the airplane and the toilet. So they use approximately 20 million hand washing per, day, per, per year. And 20 million hand washing uh, is approximately 20 million waste liter of water. If you know that in Qatar, one liter of water is around 10 uh, real. So it's, it's 200,000 200, uh, dollars we can save per year. That's a lot of water quantity. The same in if you go in the in, uh, public domain, in, in a railway station, in, in front of the airport, of course, but also at school or in public area. So we decide to make it, to increase the convenience, and to make it really to bring the hand washing what is needed. So now we have a test, we produce one hand of this unit, and uh, a few are now in Hong Kong by KFC to have a test about mass, mass washing. Because if you don't have a test, you don't know what it is. So it's not professional, it's a prototype. So this prototype, you can try it later. And uh, it's function like it was in the video, basically. You have here uh, a recognized position. You receive first soap. You can wash your hands. And after, you receive directly the rinsing water. And for all that, and you will see it's really got the feeling it's too much water now. Because we adapt it for Hong Kong. And the Chinese, they had got the feeling of soap residue on the hand. And uh, I can demonstrate the volume. If you go under and you give the go, you have first soapy water coming in. And after you have the rinsing water. And I was, I was not changing anything on the machine. And so you can see that at the end, you use half a glass of water. It's not like beer now, because you have a lot of foam over. And this is half the water stop here. So we have half of the glass is water. And so today, if you wash your hand, you don't see it by using approximately 1.2 liter of water. And this is the idea, not to reduce energy, but if you reduce the volume, you can move the water to the people. Because a water fountain with 20 liter can give two hand hand washing. And an intense use in a, in a restaurant is 200 hand washing per day. So you can easily change water and you can bring the, the hygiene to the people is to move the people to the hygiene. That was for Spixin. That is something which existing today. The swatch was the open story. The woodwork thing is something closed. This is hand washing. We are not specialists in water. We are not specialists in medicine. We are not specialists in water. I don't know if I'm really a specialist in water. 
So what is important is to think, to try other way, and it's really the hope that I want to give you tonight this feeling you are able to create. Don't be afraid that you have this internal tension between your logic, systematic success need and your dream. Find a way. I don't pretend that we all must go in the breakthrough knowledge. But I pretend that we need around three percent of creativity and not three per billion. We need to be ten times better. And this ten times better is the hope to work with groups like, like Kubiks to help young people to try to go in the right direction, but also to help the brain. Because the key element is the brain. If the brain of the society is not willing to take the risk to have a baby, you will not have a birth rate which is big enough to assure the success of your future generation. And this question is the same if you are in Qatar, in Switzerland, in Singapore, or in China. And these questions, fundamental questions, and we are too much focused on the immediate result. I must hunt. I must be flexible. I must be able to heal, to have my meat today. Yes, it's important. Never stop to do that. But please, hunt and have faith. Thank you very much.